He says theft from vehicles is happening more and more frequently, from stolen catalytic converters to smash and grabs. Action News Now reporter Danny Mastin is live in Chico. Danny, what are a few things people can do to protect the property? Well, Haley, you might not think that having medicine bottles in your car, like this bottle of ibuprofen here, is something that you have to worry about. But Chico PD says this is something that thieves look for before breaking into cars. Crime Prevention Officer Ed Nelson for Chico PD tells me things like purses, wallets, backpacks, and clothes should also not be left in view inside of your car. Nelson tells me now that so many cars are operated via push to start, it is more common for people to leave their keys inside of their car, and he says that's a big mistake. Nelson says car break-ins have increased throughout all areas of Chico, and people need to be on alert. The car burglaries are trending higher in the wintertime. More people are indoors. With the coronavirus going on, more people are indoors. There's less people out. There's less eyes out in public, which makes it a, a crime of opportunity for burglars. Nelson says car break-ins are high reward, low risk crimes, and that is why they take place so often. Therefore, Nelson says you should do a few simple things like rolling up your windows when leaving your vehicle, as well as closing the center console and the glove compartment. In total, there were just below 900 car thefts reported last year. Live in Chico, Danny Mastin, Action News Now coverage you can count on.